The first crop that can grow all year round is lettuce. It can be sown in the spring, summer, autumn, or even the winter in some mild climates. When growing lettuce in the warmer months, it is best to plant them in the shade because lettuce can often taste bitter and bolt or go to seed prematurely. The next plant that you can grow all year round is cabbages. But when growing them in the warmer months, it is best to cover them with a net so that the white cabbage butterfly doesn't attack them and eat the whole plant. When growing cabbage in the cooler months, it is best to give them as much sunlight as possible. The next crop that you can grow all year round is broccoli. But when planting broccoli in the warmer months, it is best to plant them in a little bit of shade because as broccoli has a tendency to bolt or to go to seed, and when it goes to seed prematurely, you won't have a chance to harvest the full head of broccoli. The next crop that can grow all year round is beetroot. Beetroots can tolerate a little bit of shade in the warmer months, but in the cooler months, try to provide them with as much sunlight as possible. A bonus with beetroot is that you can also eat the leaves as Swiss chard or silver beet. The next crop that you can grow all year round is spring onions. Spring onions are also a very easy crop to grow, so it's great for beginners. When growing spring onions, it is best to sow them in trays and to sow a few seeds together, like this. This is called multi-sowing and it is great for saving space. The next crop that you can grow all year round is silver beet. Silver beet is also another very easy crop to grow, making it a good choice for beginners. Silver beet can also be planted in the shade. It's great for cooler climates because it can also handle frost. The chickens love it too. The next crop is kale. Kale is also great for cooler climates because it can handle temperatures below freezing. Kale is also one of the easiest crops to grow. And there's also many different types of kale you can grow. Kale also often does well in poor soils. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and comment down below the crops you grow all year round. Thanks for watching and I want to thank Ultimate Gardening for making this collaboration possible. And I'll see you in the next video.